This set looks amazing and I can't wait to open it up and see what Stella Crown has to offer. Man, I'm really excited for this set. The cards in it seem pretty good and apparently the pull rates are nice as well. So we get to go ahead and uh, see what this set's all about. Quite a few EX cards, but it should be possible to get the main base set done, which would be pretty nice. And uh, hopefully with an ETB as well, we'll be able to get some of those final cards. Um, we're also doing this for a little bit of a challenge because we are trying to complete an entire Pokedex of... Uh, Pokemon cards, and we're getting very close to the end. Stella Crown is going to offer us quite a few new cards that we can add to the collection, um, with Mons being added for the first time. Now, some of the rare cards in the set, Squirtle down here, absolutely amazing, really cool. I, honestly, like, a lot of the full art cards, like, even the Joltik looks amazing as well. Um, and there's also the Charmander, no, sorry, the Bulbasaur, the Bulbasaur card, so there's no Charmander in this one, but, uh, yeah, really nice, and there's the uh, Stella Crown, Stella Terra Typing, yeah, so that's cool. Um, and a few gold cards in the back there. I think the, where is it? That Terrapagos is more valuable than the gold card, but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and see what sort of pulls we get. You know, the business when we open up an ETB, we get all of the other stuff inside, being the uh, sleeve protectors, the dividers, the energy cards, the markers and the dice. So, uh, very nice. But, what we're here for is the card openings themselves. I think we get eight, maybe nine booster packs in this. So we'll go ahead and open it up and see what sort of things we get from here. If you guys use the code card, make sure that you list it uh, down below that you've taken some of the code cards. Share them around as much as you can. The energy card design has changed as well, which is uh, pretty nice looking. I like the texture on it. So we start off with Hutut. We've got Grubbin, Grievard, Joltik, Tornadus, Crispin, Double. We've got Hutut in reverse, a Lapras in reverse, and a Bufaland Hollow to start off. All right. Again, I'd much rather the bad pools at the start, like the, you know, mediocre pools, because when it comes down to it, I want to complete the set as much as I can. That's why we open the packs, otherwise if we were just interested in the hits, I'd probably just buy them separately anyway. Alright, we start off with the Giraladon, very nice. Um, we're looking for its evolution, ooh, Tutuga. That one's a, uh, quite a rare one when I'm in tracking down some of the other cards. We've got Kofu, we've got Slowking, ooh, Deluxe Bomb, very nice. We've got the Ace Spec Trainer out of that one, gotta love that. We got a reverse Joltik and a Rhyperia Hollow. Nice. Alright. Well, Deluxe Bomb, definitely a hit there. Ain't gonna complain about an Ace Spec card. Let's hope that we can get a EX or Full Art, something in these. That would be nice. I don't know what the pull rates are like in ETBs, to be honest. Because some ETBs I've opened and they've been absolutely mental. Other ones, not so much. We got a Yamask, Bombardier, Eldegoss, Lantern, Blair of Briar, uh, Sloking in reverse, Pofu in reverse, and Alcreeny Hollow. There you go. Alright, I don't mind at the moment, because it's oh, it's all new to us, and honestly, the artwork for all of these cards is really nice. I do feel, however, that Toad Scroll one, I'm sure I've seen that artwork before. I'm sure that it has been in another set. We have a Darkness Energy to begin with. We got a uh, Fletchender. We got Finion. Tauros. I love that classic sort of artwork to it. It's really nice. Fido. Ooh, Celebi. We got Lantern. Toad's Cruel. Perugly. Ponytar. And a Dreadnought Hollow. Man, we have not got a hit in the Hollow slot. But let's hope, because, what, well, we still got five packs left, you know? Should be enough to, uh, to do something nice. An EX, maybe even a uh, alt art. That'd be sick. Imagine we pull a gold card in here. That would be pretty mental. We got the fighting type energy. I think we've got different different energy types every single time, which is cool. Imagine if that was the thing when you're opening these ETBs. Carnivine, Riolu, Lechong, Azumarill. We've got Reshiram, Luminion. This is really like a ragtag team of uh, different mons. Nice. Paradon, 
Tugnamaru, and yo, Dash Fun EX. There you go. So we finally got something in the uh, hollow slot at the back there. The Dash Fun EX. Very, very nice. Our first EX card of the set. Hopefully, first of many. As we uh, strive to collect them all. Alright, we still got four packs to go, this being one of them. Got a code card. I didn't see what that last code, uh, last card was. We'll see. We got the dip one, Hansia, Meditite, Clink, Luminion, Glass Trumpet, interesting, Lacey, Espathra, Reverun, and a Clink Clang. Nice. We'll put Clink Clang there and Dash Bun can come down to here. There are uh, our proper hits. Hollows are good, and I'm glad that we get a hollow in each pack, because it feels a lot more special than what it used to be, where you just get your regular rares. Because the regular rares, they don't hit that hard. <laughs> Alright, um, did we get the energy from the back? We did not. There's the fire energy. We've got an Applin, Crabrawler, or oh, Wooloo. I like that art, that's cool. Same with the Salander, very cool. Diancy, Togunamaru, oh, almost missed out on Jirachi. We got Grievart in reverse. Oh, yo! Oh, wow. This is definitely one of the chase cards. Absolutely amazing. You got the uh, uh, Alt Art Bulbasaur. Very nice. And a Melmetal Hollow to finish up with. Nice. Yo. That's where it's at, though. That is sick. I love that. Very, very nice card. And uh, one, of th one of the most valuable cards in the set, I believe. So... I'll take it. I will take it. I wouldn't even mind a uh, duplicate of that one because of my uh, Pokemon card project that I'm doing at the moment. But uh, fortunately slash unfortunately, I'm going to be using uh, this one for the last set. So, is what it is. I think they've all been different energy cards. That's mental. I think we've got every single kind of energy card. That's crazy. All right, Varum, Lily. Another fossil Pokemon that's hard to find. Pormy, Fletchling, Marowak, Toad's Cruel, Kofu, Marowak in reverse, we've got Charcadet in reverse, and Caracosta. There you go. Caracosta, another fossil Pokemon that uh, is not the easiest to find. But, there's one pack left. Lapras on the front. Lapras, can you give us some luck? To be honest, I'm still happy with the uh, ETB. It's still given me uh, what I wanted. So the fact that we've just opened this ETB and uh, got that, absolutely amazing. We start off with the Marrow. We've got the Gossiflow, Electabuzz, Comfey, Mianxiao, the Ockerberry, Paradon. We've got Cradilly in reverse. Charge Bug in reverse, and... Oh, yo, Flark Crispin. Very nice. I will take that. That is a... That is a decent ETV. I will take it. Very, very cool. You know what? Decent hits from this ETV. If you guys liked what we uh, pulled today, make sure you drop a uh, subscribe to the channel. Drop a like on the video. That would be great as well. And we'll catch you guys in the next one, where we're going to be opening up None four parts, but the entire booster box in one go. It's going to be pretty epic, and I can't wait to see what we get in it. Thanks for watching. Peace.